There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, why do I have low blood pressure but high pulse rate sitting? Answer by Moonish Sound. Firstly, it could be normal according to physiology. I. E. Marie's Law which state that BP is inversely proportional to heart rate. If BP rises pulse rate falls and when BP falls, pulse rate rises. If concerned one might have to check with a cardiologist or medical specialist to exclude causes like thyroid disease or cardiac issues. Answer by Wendell Good. The body is very smart. When blood pressure drops, the heart rate increases to compensate for the drop. When blood pressure rises, the heart rate falls to compensate. This is to maintain adequate perfusion. Perfusion being the process to adequate oxygen and nutrients to the individual cells which make up our organs. Inadequate perfusion is the condition known as shock. In the end, we all die from shock. Answer by Hyderarkan. Note, it is not a medical professional advice so don't take as one. It is just non-professional anecdotic observation. Majority of the answers are perfectly right and have all highlighted the possible triggers to cause situation as you stated. You have not mentioned in your wise what does low represent and what, what does high represent? Although there is standardized cut of line for highs but low is measured by person's symptoms rather than numbers. Treatment wise person is put on medicine when they when high cut of point is reached regardless of presence of symptoms or not. While, on low person symptoms influence whether treatment should be initiated or not. Numbers taking secondary influence are for quite like you simply because BP consistently fluctuates. You don't want high BP going any higher, body will react if it gets too low aka symptoms. It might not if it's too high. With BP ranges, high above 130-90. Caution high above 120-80. Normal below 120-80. Caution low below 115-70. Low below 110-60. Pulse ranges, tachycardia, above 100. Caution, between 90,100. Normal while active, 60 to 100. Bradycardia, Caution while resting, between 55-60. Low while resting, below 50. Tendency to fluctuate. Systolic BPS upper reading it fluctuates the most and very easily as it adjusts with activity and stress. Diastolic is the lower reading it fluctuates less frequently and is more stubborn to change than systolic. Secondly it might not fluctuate if systolic fluctuates. Pulse pressure is the last if the three figures to respond to change. Off all three figures it's the slowest to change its rhythm. Thus systolic goes up easily comes down easily. Diastolic goes up not so easily and comes down not so easily. Heartbeat is not easy to go up and not so easy to keep low. The body system keep track of these and adjust accordingly to maintain adequate supply of oxygen and nutrition. Key word is persistence. Are the fluctuations more persistent? Persistence is measured over weeks and months. So simple one-off readings would not raise alarm. Medical professional will always monitor over time how fluctuations occur and then devise treatment. Process becomes easier as fluctuations are more common. Seasonal changes. BP tends to be high in winter and low in summer heat. Infection may cause increased pulse. Try to get antibody blood as quickly as possible and try to transport infection out of system as quickly as possible. Hydration and anemia may cause raised pulse low BP. If there is less try to push more. Acidity cause you to breathe more and may or may not raise pulse. Try to oxygenate blood as quickly as possible. Electrolyte imbalance also affects how our hearts beat and how our BP fluctuates. Hypo or hyperglucose disease also affects BP and pulse. Glucose is fuel of our body. Once low try to speed up delivery. Once high try to clear it out of system as quickly as possible. Most importantly underlying diseases that already persist. These are just some of the casual things that starts investigation. That is probably why BP is categorized either as Primary, we don't what is causing persistent fluctuations Secondary, we know the reason influencing the flotation Most of the time primary causes may never be identifiable Most of the time if BP is left untreated for a long time it affects organs that help regulate it which then causes secondary BP influence Now to your answer why low BP high pulse Simple answer is none of us know and have no ability to know whether than to just tell how body works not what is causing your symptoms. To identify the cause a medical professional has to see you in person to rule out persistence, rule out infection, diabetes, anemia, hemodynamics, 
cholesterol, electrolyte imbalance, roulette heart, kidney, liver, bladder, both structural impact as influencer, age, stamina, mathematically bedridden means walking less than 5,000 steps a day. So many people don't even walk half of that unless you age you walk less and less. Stress stress stress. These are just a few factors to consider before we could even know where we're going. Now you may know how not why. Just how can BP be low and pulse be high. We don't know and have no idea why. Not how. But just point blank why. It's low and pulse is high. Simply because I am staring at a screen can't query you over other factors. And cannot even listen to your heartbeat. I wish technology would have made it possible but you know that ain't going to happen in 200 years. So relax, and I mean relax. Apology for wasting bit of your time, but hey we know how things work. That's valuable. Drink a glass of water or two. Book an appointment with a doctor who can do all that in person. And then like jolly good fellow be one time for appointment please. I mean be there 5 minutes early.